Hello there. The main purpose of the TRX RIP trainer is metabolic conditioning in the form of rotational force and controlling rotational load. The RIP trainer can be used absolutely anywhere and converted to traditional gym exercises. During this video I'm going to demonstrate how the RIP trainer can be used as a very effective resistance training tool. To begin we must connect the anchor point carabiner to the swivel eye bolt as shown here. And away we go, we're going to start off with a split squat, a lower body exercise. As you can see I have my foot positioned on top of the resistance cord. I'm going to drive up through the heels and maintain an upright torso for the split squat. Moving on to the shoulders now, one of my favourites for the shoulders, upright row. So I have my knees slightly bent and I'm just going to pull the bar by moving my elbows up in line with my shoulders. There's the upright row there. Moving back to the lower body once again, okay, another old favourite, we have the frontal squat, so I have the bar positioned across the top of my shoulders. A bit more emphasis on the core and the quads because I'm loading the anterior chain, the front chain, so there you have the frontal squat. And another squat variation we're going to show you here is just the traditional back squat. All I've done is transferred the bar to the back of my shoulders and I'm just showing you here the traditional back squat, okay? This one here is probably one of my favourite muscle groups to work, the shoulders. So all I've done is reverse the grip so I have my palms facing in to myself in a split stance, a reverse grip shoulder press there. And now it's the wide grip back row. Very important postural muscles targeted here. The muscles that help us maintain upright posture, mid trapezius, rhomboids, rear delts. This year is something I love to do with my clients to maximize calorie expenditure. It's a upper upper lower body combo, lots of muscle groups involved. Squat the press, yeah. So I'm gonna maintain a neutral spine as always, drive through the heels and press, squat the press. Now I have a standing chest press, split stance variation. So great way to build functional stabilization through the core. Standing chest press as shown here. And now we move on to the single joint exercises and we're going to start with the bent knee good morning. This works the hamstrings and back, the, the posterior chain. Just as a word of safety, I'd advise you to position the bar across the tops of the shoulder blades and not across the neck, which would put stress on the upper spine. There's the bent knee, good morning. Standing French press here for the triceps, of course, a target area for males and females. So I'm just going to try and maintain a neutral spine alignment and I'm going to press through the triceps. Opposing muscle groups from the triceps, the biceps, we have the arm curls, male favourites for the beach, the beach muscles, the biceps, okay, so we have some arm curls. Last of all, we have the frontal raises. Frontal raises tend to target the front portion of the deltoids. Most people have these overdeveloped. I would definitely recommend you target the midsections and the rear deltoids in particular. Thanks for watching. Please leave any comments in the comments area below. Thank you and goodbye.